Hello world and welcome. Today we will talk about autoencoders in uh, classification, especially for anomaly detection here. Um, so for further readings you can also um, just um, hit these links here. There are also really interesting things to read about this topic about autoencoders. So I'd really recommend that as well. My name is Harris and let's get started. So first of all, if you check the code here, I just inserted the libraries who are necessary here. And first of all, let's start what is the outline here. In this case, I put some uh, fraud data. Um, so to um, differentiate if this is a normal data or fraud data. Um, so for data is for me kind of outliers. So because it's a anomaly or a not normal behavior here, outlines you can see here on the very right um, who are red. So I want to um, predict and find the outliners here. I imported data here from some pretty balanced um, data set I found here. And I first of all plot the data. So you can see that uh, the fraud data is red, which are actually the outliners here, in comparison to the normal um, distribution or the normal data, which is um, colored green. So for optimis optimizing the model, you can of course um, use um, the one hunter encoding or the label encoder here. But as you can see here, it's pretty good um, with numbers, so no strings, nothing um, which can should be transformed. Um, standardize your model as well, or the data, to um, make the weight update uh, pretty fast and efficient. Then I split the data into training and testing set, and I set up early stopping, um, because if you want to put um, the model overnight uh, and you have let's say more than 1000 epochs then you say okay stop when the accuracy reach let's say 99% and um, you can put this um, callback function in the fit method to just stop it when um, the designed accuracy is finished and calculated. So basically what you can do here is um, at constructing the model um, I just have here uh, fully connected dense layers. Uh, I inserted the dropouts again, uh, dropout rate of 10%. I inserted the um, kernel initializer here, um, the he uniform because um, you have to initialize um, the um, weights actually which is a really good thing. You will see that the performance will be get better. You can use a um, batch normalization layer with the momentum to uh, make the um, data again a little bit more normalized to make the process even faster. And then you can see here we start from 64, 32 neurons and then bottleneck is coming and then 32 to 64 again. And at the end, because we want to uh, predict if this is outline or not, so it's only uh, activation function. We use sigma in here because we want to see with one output if this is uh, uh, fraud or not. You can play around a little bit with um, atom optimizer um, or other optimizers. The learning rate is pretty good. Batch size as well, of course, is always a nice thing to see. To optimize your model, um, there you can see a summary of the model with 14,000 parameters, batch size, shuffle true, it's classification, I don't mind, uh, it can be shuffled, it's always good for um, seeing new data here. And callback function as you can see, after evaluating the model you can see uh, a really nice accuracy of 98% uh, and if you plot everything, the loss and accuracy curve, you can see that there's still um, thing to optimize. Um, the validation loss is still not going up rapidly so you can still optimize the model to make it even more accurate for your um, example or your project. 
So uh, you can find this code as well, um, the description in the my GitHub repository. I put it uh, below the um, description. Um, if you want to see more of this um, content, hit the subscribe button or leave a like or comment there. I would be really happy and see you soon.